Syndicate Capital, Knights Templar Capital, Zoff Partners, Altar Dow, and other angel investors joined forces to raise $6 million for Movers, a super app and NFT exchange for music. Music artists, investors, and fans from all around the world can engage in frictionless trade thanks to the Movers platform, which permits the free trade of international music NFTs. The platform offers users a variety of engaging, gamified interaction, investments, and revenue situations. These scenarios include a rhythm game with an earning mode and an NFT exchange that gives users access to liquidity. The platform's features and services will be increased, user acquisition will be sped up and the user experience will be improved with the money acquired in the seed round. The platform is developing its phase 2 products which will include the music NFT exchange, NFT fragmentation function and an AMM pool for its NNFT MCT trading. GRI PNR, a technology company bringing tabletop role-playing games to the blockchain on 30th March, announced the official launch of their on-chain play platform at play.gripnr.com and the Glimmering, a next-generation TT RPG experience designed to be played with NFT heroes that let players' character progress live on the blockchain. The Glimmering phrase, two of the Genesis Collection characters, NFT Mint today ready to play immediately in addition to the Glimmering's official start today. GRI PNR is minting phase 2 of their Genesis collection of characters, all available to play on-chain now. Kwon Do Hyun, the CEO of the company behind Crash Stablecoin, Terra USD, and cryptocurrency Luna, who is better known as Do Kwon, will face trial in Montenegro. He was arrested there on March 23rd while trying to leave for Dubai using a false Costa Rican passport. According to his Montenegrin lawyer, Vojislav Zivi, the Terraform Labs co-prosecution founders for using false personal documents must be finished first before he may be extradited to other nations. Officials are requesting Kwon's extradition from both South Korea and the US. The prosecutor looking into the case, however, was cited as saying on Monday that the procedure is likely to take some time because the Montenegrin judicial system intends to indict him. In the upcoming special segment on crypto exchanges, we will update you about the following news. Crypto exchange Kraken commits to tougher rules required by Canada. 1982 ventures back into Indonesian crypto exchange platform. Crypto Exchange Gemini to launch Perpetual Futures Trading Platform. Stay tuned for more updates.